potion after all. <clears throat> I just remembered why. I have to give credit to Clotremus for the methodology on perfect supreming the marketplace with the hard layout. So when that guy is headed where he is, he can jump over the canal, and then ideally make a... Well, you need it to stay quiet. Then, if you can make it here silently, that's your goal. The trick to avoiding noise when you mantle is to release the mantle key right before Garrett completes the motion, and he'll do it silently. If you hold it down all the way, he'll make a landing noise when he hits the top. So head down this hallway to the east. Crouch when you're up here, just to make sure no one hears you. At the end of this walkway, you can find a one loaf of bread and a bottle of wine, worth 50 brings our total to 1870. Now, if we were in easy mode, here's what we could do. We could come down here, we would bother adequately attaching to the ladder to avoid damage, and we could just approach him this way. Who's there? Cross Someone to the bridge. Cross to the bridge and get his Guess purse. It was nothing. Go over that ladder into Shale Bridge. She would be facing <laughs> directly north and we wouldn't have any problems. Obviously that option's not open to us. We can't cross this area without triggering full-blown search mode from her. So, we're going to have to do something a bit more complicated. We're going to have to go back the way we came quite a bit further. <laughs> Almost all the way to the beginning, in fact. So here, make sure you go out the south door. Don't want to alert anyone. And just... Oops. I find it easier to just get de back down to the canal, but something's happened. I've hit some kind of invisible wall. Glitches abound in Thief 2. This game was kind of rushed out the door. So, instead of that plan, I'm going to wait until I see the patroller here, pass the all the way by, headed north, until he gets under that arch, and then I'm just going to jump across the canal and mantle that way. I forgot about that gate and grate in the canal, because... If I had my druthers, I'd just swim all the way back since I have to... Don't worry, it is possible to make this jump. You just have to be pretty precise about hitting the button at the very edge. So I'm going to move over here. Then I'm going to get back down to the canal. Listen and make sure he didn't first alert. And just creep down the canal. All the way back to the marketplace. Through the sewer, the way we came in. Back up and out of the manhole, back through the pitch blackness, until we get to the market. 
I have to do the same careful creep past the light post to avoid alerting the guard. To start really being careful right about here. And I moved too fast. Be careful the entire time, and you can avoid even a first alert. And then you're pretty much safe when you get to deeper shadows. Though you do have to be careful. Of these two fellows. Remember them? We are almost all the way back to the beginning. Paperwork. If I ever lay eyes on the taffer who had the bright idea of filling out with reports, he's gonna be sorry his mother ever taught him how to read. So I'm just gonna follow them until I can jump into the perfect shadow, and then wait for them to pass me by headed the other way. This is a better spot to wait anyway. That way they won't bump into us and we can move in behind them. So we do have to be careful of more patrollers. But you see that wooden stair up on the left? That's where we want to go next to get the last piece of loot. So this is the only way to approach the bridge if the prostitute faces the square like she did with us. So make sure you hit the ladder and descend that way. We can't take this street because of the two guards there. And now this spot is worth a real save because this is where we end up needing the potion to avoid a first alert. This is also the spot where I have to give credit to Clotremus for coming up with the method. Okay, those two guys spotted me that time. You have to worry about them until you make it around the corner. Then you have to start worrying about the prostitute. Make sure you keep it to a good, slow creep, and you should be able to reach safety. Now, as insane as it sounds, you can creep all the way you can creep all the way between the street light and the bridge railing without triggering a first alert from her.
Now is when you really have to listen carefully. What you cannot do is continue onto the bridge when you, for some <laughs> reason, going around this corner will alert her. So, you have to mantle onto the railing, but for some reason that always makes a noise unless you put a healing potion there. <laughs> for whatever reason, it's... Oh, no capable somehow of cushioning your mantle. There you have it. We were somehow able to cushion the mantle so it didn't make any noise. Now from here, it's a pretty simple matter to creep along the railing, lean forward and grab the purse. There it is. That is our sixth of eight pickpockets. It's worth a hundred. It brings our total to 1970. It is the last piece of loot. Now the dismount is difficult. You have to walk backwards in order to keep it slow enough. Is someone there? See, that was too fast. Garrett likes to move faster when he's going down the hills. Who's there? So that's when you have to be really, really quiet. Or really, really uh, slow. And then, when we hit bottom, when we get back to the edge, rather, and try to dismount, that's going to be difficult, too. We got a comment from her there. Hmm? And there. Uh, what was that? Garrett, 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 slow down. Who's there? Wait, I, uh... What's that? Uh, he like to get his stuff out when I quick load? What was that? I don't know. There we go. Okay, good. Now I just creep back out. Slower than that.
Now, creep back across the street into that patch of shadow so as not to alert the guys up the ramp to my left. Uh, what's there? Move too fast. As you can see, it's easy to do. Then, with that whole endeavor accomplished, finally back in the embrace of the shadows, we'll do another real save. Next, Supreme demands that we... Supreme demands that we return the healing potion. Which, compared to what we just did, honestly isn't that hard. Getting up a ladder, on the other hand, in the dark engine, Always a complicated endeavor. Thought I saw something. Coupled with the fact that the top of the ladder is lit up like a Christmas tree. Thought I saw something. The good news, of course, is we don't have to come back down here after we manage this escape. So, maybe if I just wait until he's turned. But he'll never turn his back to me. See, he only turn. The best he does is Hello? face that way. But he's not seeing me until I hit the top. So, if I manage to crouch so I can creep. Okay, good. Hell, I'm going to do another real save. Anyway, as I said, Supreme demands that we return the healing potion. Oh, man. Let's be try to be fast, because I don't want to have to wait on those guys. Oh, good. So I'm just really quickly going to bounce back to hell and away, return the potion, and then come back. Won't be hard at all. The hardest part will be crossing the marketplace. Both ways, of course. Anyway, no changes. Just get to the street light and then start creeping. Really, this is a cakewalk compared to getting his purse. <clears throat> and once you see your gems start to darken, you're pretty much in the clear. As long as you stay crouched. So again, we'll exit the market through the pitch black alley in the southwest. Still so sorry, I know it's gonna be hard to see, but you know, they programmed it that way. Into the sewer. If it's any consolation, it is also pitch black playing. But I am sorry it's so hard to see. Hopefully the rest of it's not so bad. So ideally we can get into the canal without alerting anyone. 
Well, this will be perfect. We can just follow him. Get to the shadow. Here at the low point. Mantle out. And he's on his way back. Which I surmise is now. Do be wary of this fellow. <clears throat> Pop across the canal to the north, just like before. <gasps> Sounds like they're on their way. No, maybe they're headed away. Something there? They are headed away, but just gonna wait for them to finish that turn and drop the potion back on the patrol route. No problem. I have to get back to Shale Bridge one more time. Well, Shale Bridge Road. So just hop across the canal to the south. Have a bit more, a slightly more successful hop this time. <sighs> See if we can get clear without an alert from him. Very good. This is a safe shadow, but let's go ahead and push for the canal. Well, I can get to the canal, I just have to not get carried away with how far south I go. Just need to hug this wall, make sure avoid alerts. And once you get here, you're pretty much clear to speed up. Back to the sewers. <sighs> Back out of the sewers. Come on, G. It's fun to call Garrett G because, I mean, there's the standard use of G, but it's also the first letter of his name. Back into the marketplace again. Now, for the last time, we have to cross the marketplace again. We will not have to return the shale bridge key, gate key, to our apartment because holding on to it is an objective, and the objective unticks if we drop it. So we have to keep it with us, which is good news. Because traversing all the way back home from shale bridge would be a pain. But we don't have to do it. So, get to the street lamp. No alerts. We're clear of the street lamp. No alerts. Let's just cross the light patch without alerts. And we're good. Lovely! I don't really know where these guys are. Let's try and figure it out. Good enough. Good enough. So now, you see that patroller off in the distance? That's where we want to head next, but I'm going to do a real save before we tackle Shale Bridge Road because it's got a lot of patrollers. The hard stuff's over, but there are a couple of spots left where you can get caught. I want to squeak up here. 
This is a good spot to wait and watch. We want him to be headed this way. And there's a trio of patrollers we need to be careful of. I'd <coughs> like to get in behind them. That he's he may turn around too fast. We do need to get the arrows from that archer. Oops, I should have quick saved in the little niche. I will remedy that oversight this time. I think if I move right as soon as they turn around, I should be fine. Oh. Somebody else spotted me. We were good that time. Her arrows were our seventh of eight pickpockets. And we want to get to this shadow here. <laughs> okay, good. Now we're going to want to pick open that door, but it's a long pickpocket. So we're going to want to maximize our time, so... When they pass by heading west, we want to cross and get started. It's a two changer and pretty long picks on all three. But if you if you time it well, you can get inside no problem. I'm gonna do a real save here. We're very close to the end now. We wanna drop down behind this stationary guard who never turns. And then when we have a chance, we wanna get around the corner to the northeast, park it here, do another save. Look, yeah. What we're probably going to have to do, just because there's so many variables, is pick another lock straight in front of us in that shadow. That archer doesn't have any arrows to pickpocket. I don't know if we have to get in there or not. There's nothing but food in that apartment. I think maybe when their backs are turned, we ought to be able to just creep down the street after those two. Hello? So you can see there is another guy down the street who can first alert to us, but I think if we creep nice and slow, he shouldn't be an issue. But I saw something. Who? Who saw something? Yep. Nobody's even close to me. Okay, yeah, they come back. They come back too fast for creeping. Look, I think something's there. Over there. So if you hold it, you can cross straight into here and hit this shadow. And then pick open this door to what turns out to be Lieutenant Mosley's apartment. Although we don't know it yet in this mission. So shut that door behind you. 
Head down the hall. Mosley's kitchen is riddled with food if you're interested. But what you need to do is get up on this counter and open the window. And that right shutter has a tendency to disappear. It didn't do it to me this time, which is nice. But okay, those two are headed this way. When they're headed, when they turn around and head away, we want to pop out the window and get to those shadows. Yeah, the shutter disappeared as it is wont to do. It happens pretty often. Now, the end of the mission is right there. I'm going to wait until they come back so I can get the last pickpocket, the arrows, off of that archer. There we go. Eight of eight pickpockets. So now, just when they're gone, unlock the gate, head through it, and lock it behind you before the mission ends. And that's it. Mission over. Alright, that's Perfect Thief in Ambush. It would have been Perfect Supreme if we chose to ignore the one pickpocket right in front of the pub at the beginning. But, you know, that's it. Took 48 minutes and 54 seconds. Found a 1970 loot out of 1970. Pockets picked 8 out of 8. Just the classic Thief 2 bug there. Picked 3 locks. 0 backstab, 0 knockouts. No damage dealt or taken. No healing taken. Nothing and no one killed. No iron beasts destroyed or disabled. Found 0 out of 0 secrets. Campaign totals. Time so far. 4 hours, 33 minutes, 29 seconds. Loot so far. 62.98, aka all of it. And total damage dealt, 8. The 8 knockouts in running interference received 0. As I said, perfect thief, no violations of the ghost rules, almost perfect supreme. Were we willing to ignore the broadheads in front of the pub, we would have avoided all first alerts and kept it at perfect supreme. But everything was put back as it was, nothing was disturbed, everything that could be relocked was relocked, and apart from those around the pub, there were no first alerts. So. There you go. Didn't pick up anything we didn't need, didn't make any purchases. And with that, I'm going to do an end mission save, and I will see you all tomorrow for eavesdropping. Bye-bye.